Have you ever pondered about the recent surge of India as a global powerhouse? A question that may have crossed your mind as you gaze upon the myriad of news headlines and articles, all pointing towards one direction, India's meteoric rise on the global stage. This journey is not simply about the numbers. It's not just about the impressive economic growth, the exponential rise in technological advancements, or even the strengthening of international relations. It's about a nation's transformation under the leadership of one man, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Under Modi's reign, India has witnessed an economic turnaround that is nothing short of astounding. The nation has seen a surge in foreign investments, a rapidly growing tech industry, and an infrastructure boom that's revitalizing cities and rural areas alike. But the story doesn't end there. India's technological prowess is also on the rise. From launching satellites to developing advanced AI systems, India is making its mark in the tech world. This progress, coupled with a young and dynamic workforce, is establishing India as a technological powerhouse to be reckoned with. But the journey of becoming a global powerhouse is not just about economic growth and technological advancements. It's also about the relationships a nation nurtures with the rest of the world. Under Modi's leadership, India has strengthened its ties with countries across the globe, fostering partnerships that are mutually beneficial and sustainable. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been the driving force behind this transformation. With his visionary leadership and relentless pursuit of progress, Modi has instilled a new sense of optimism and ambition in the hearts of Indians. He has shown that with the right leadership and the collective will of the people, a nation can rise above its challenges and become a global powerhouse. A key emblem of this rise and a subject of international attention has been the consecration of the Ram Mandir. This monumental event not only symbolizes India's spiritual heritage, but also serves as a testament to its newfound global stature. As we delve deeper into this story, we'll uncover how the Ram Mandir embodies the spirit of a nation on the rise. But, how did we arrive at this monumental event of Ram Mandir's consecration, you may ask? Well, it's been a journey. A journey that was set into motion by a critical decision made by the Supreme Court of India in the year 2019. The land on which the Ram Mandir stands today was a subject of dispute for decades. Two major communities, Hindus and Muslims, claimed it as their own, leading to a long-standing legal battle. The crux of the dispute revolved around the Babri Masjid, a mosque that was previously situated at the site, and the belief of many Hindus that the site is the birthplace of Lord Rama. In 2019, the Supreme Court of India arrived at a landmark judgment. The court ruled that the disputed land would be given to Hindus for the construction of a temple. This decision was not one-sided, however. The court also ruled that Muslims would be given land elsewhere to construct a mosque, aiming to maintain a balance and respect the sentiments of both communities. A key piece of evidence that played a significant role in this decision was a report from the Archaeological Survey of India. The report suggested the existence of a non islical structure beneath the mosque. This evidence was instrumental in the court's judgment, providing a historical context and supporting the claims of those who believe the site to be the birthplace of Lord Rama. This decision by the Supreme Court was more than just a judgment. It was a turning point, a path that led to the resolution of a decades-long dispute. It set the stage for a new beginning, a new era that would see the construction of one of the world's largest Hindu temples. This pivotal decision paved the way for the construction of a grand temple at the site. It wasn't just about building a temple, but about building bridges between communities, about fostering unity and harmony in diversity. And so the story of the Ram Mandir began. The Supreme Court's decision sparked a new chapter in Ayodhya's history. With the court's ruling in their favor, the Hindu community commenced the construction of the Ram Mandir, a temple set to be a testament to their faith and the cultural heritage of India. The groundwork for this historic project was laid on August 5, 2020, when Prime Minister Narendra Modi performed a groundbreaking ceremony. A momentous occasion, it signaled the beginning of a new era for Ayodhya and for India as a whole. The Prime Minister himself, a key figure in this narrative, took part in the ritual, 
demonstrating his commitment to the project and to the cultural resurgence it represents. The task of designing this monumental temple was entrusted to the Sampura family from Ahmedabad, renowned for their architectural prowess. Rooted in the Gurjara Chalukya style of Nagara architecture, the design of the Ram Mandir is a nod to the rich architectural heritage of India. The temple's design is not just about aesthetic appeal, it's a symbol of the deep-rooted traditions and architectural brilliance of the Indian civilization. Being built on the hypothesized birthplace of Lord Rama, the temple is expected to be more than just a place of worship. It's projected to be one of the world's largest Hindu temples, not just in terms of its physical size, but also in terms of its significance to the Hindu community worldwide. The construction of the Ram Mandir is more than just erecting a structure. It's about crafting a symbol of faith, a beacon of cultural pride, and a testament to the resilience of a nation and its people. It's a story of perseverance, of a community's unyielding faith, and of a nation's journey towards cultural resurgence. The construction of Ram Mandir, thus, began as a symbol of India's cultural resurgence. This grand temple, once completed, will stand as a testament to India's rich cultural heritage and its commitment to preserving and celebrating it. Fast forward to 2024, and the temple stands tall, ready for consecration. A momentous day dawns over the Ram Mandir in Ayodhya, Uttar Pradesh, a day that will etch itself into the annals of India's vibrant cultural history. The air is thick with anticipation and reverence as Prime Minister Narendra Modi, serving as the chief patron, steps forward to perform the consecration of Ram Lala. The consecration, a sacred ritual in Hindu tradition, symbolizes the infusion of divine life into the icon, in this case, Ram Lala. It's a solemn ceremony, echoing with ancient chants that have been passed down through millennia, connecting past, present, and future in a single thread of continuity. But this event is more than just an age-old ritual. It's a testament to India's rich heritage and its ability to preserve and cherish its cultural roots, even as the nation strides forward on the global stage. It's a celebration of the spirit of India, a spirit that is as resilient as it is diverse. With this ceremony, the Ram Mandir isn't just a temple anymore. It becomes a living symbol of India's unity in diversity a testament to the country's ability to harmonize its ancient traditions with its modern aspirations. It's a beacon shining brightly on the global stage, inviting the world to witness the depth and richness of India's cultural tapestry. And Prime Minister Modi, as the chief patron, embodies this fusion of the old and the new. As a leader, he has been instrumental in propelling India onto the global stage, fostering a sense of national pride and promoting cultural unity. His presence at the consecration of Ram Lala is a powerful affirmation of this commitment. The event is a milestone, not just in the journey of the Ram Mandir, but in India's journey as a nation. It's a statement to the world that India, with its rich cultural heritage and dynamic leadership, is a force to be reckoned with, a powerhouse on the global stage. The consecration of Ram Lala marks a significant milestone in India's journey as a global powerhouse a journey that is as much a testament to the enduring spirit of its people as it is to the vision of its leaders. A journey that continues to unfold as India carves out its place in the world, powered by the grace of its past and the promise of its future. But how does the Ram Mandir connect to India's rise as a powerhouse, you might wonder? Let's take a moment to bring together the threads of our story so far. The construction of the Ram Mandir a colossal Hindu temple in Ayodhya, Uttar Pradesh, is not just a testament to India's architectural prowess, but it also symbolizes the nation's cultural resurgence and unity. The temple stands on the hypothesized birthplace of Lord Rama, a figure deeply revered in the Hindu tradition. Its construction, supervised by the Sri Ram Janmabhumi Tirthkshetra Trust, is the result of decades of struggle and perseverance. The Supreme Court's landmark decision in 2019, which granted the disputed land to Hindus for the construction of the temple, while providing an alternate land for Muslims to construct a mosque, was a significant step towards communal harmony. It was a ruling that demonstrated India's commitment to upholding justice and equal rights for all its citizens. 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi's active involvement in the groundbreaking ceremony and the consecration of Ram Lala on January 22, 2024, shows the government's endorsement of cultural heritage and traditional values. This commitment to cultural preservation and promotion serves as a strong pillar in India's rise as a global powerhouse. Moreover, the Ram Mandir, being one of the world's largest Hindu temples, will draw millions of devotees and tourists from around the world, significantly boosting tourism and contributing to the country's economy. The temple, designed in the Gurjara Cholukya style of Nagara architecture, is also a nod to India's rich architectural heritage, bringing it to the global stage. In essence, the Ram Mandir is more than just a place of worship. It is a symbol of India's cultural strength, unity, and global influence. It embodies the spirit of a nation that, while looking forward to a future of progress and development, remains rooted in its rich, diverse heritage. India thus continues its ascent, with the Ram Mandir standing as a testament to its cultural strength and global influence.